Yeah, g'day guys. Here's another Zapier integration with um, Quick Reviews OneBot to Square um, booking software and Square payment gateways. So when you're in your client's uh, account, in this case it's Zebra, Zebra Aesthetics, you go to Settings, Integrations, Zapier. Make sure you obviously copy the API key here. Press Connect. And that will take you to your Zapier account. Now I'm already logged into mine. Okay, so what I will do here is scroll down and accept and uh, build the zap. So in this case here, we're gonna find the first software, which is Square. So I wanna go create the zap. In this case, we're Going to look for square, which is this one here. Now we want to have a look at this in square. We want to choose an event. So in this case, we want to add uh, a new customer. Let me continue here. We'll ask us to choose an account. So I've already got this one here. In this case, you do connect new account and log in to their uh, Squarespace account and that will then give you permission uh, to access their account. In this case, I've already connected that one. We've done that once before. Uh, it's really literally just logging in with their account. We press continue. We test the trigger. You can see there's an alert here. We haven't had the trigger yet. And what we look for in Zapier is green ticks. So you can see here, we've got the, the client details here. So yep, that's what we want to do there. And we go continue. Now we want to look for our one bot zap, which is reputation, we go down here and we, we look for reputation link uh, up here, this one here, which is the latest. And again, we do the same process here. We want to add a new customer. Now we want to continue here. Now we want to obviously get an account. Now I've got lots of zaps going on, so I want to connect a new account. And this is where we use the API key from one bot that we uh, copied before. So I simply just paste that API key in there, press yes, continue. What that will do, that'll connect the Square software to one bot. You can see it's account number 32. We hit continue. Now we want to look for the data. So we want to get the given name, tear its face and get the surname. Then we, oops, sorry, go back. So we want to get the email, sorry, here. So get the email address here. Then we want to get the mobile phone number if it's available. So we just go show all options. There's the mobile phone number there. And then we want to get the customer name. So we want to get the, obviously, the first name, put a little space and get their surname if it's available. Now we want to do continue. Now that's the customer name, email, phone number. We want to hit test and continue. Now we'll wait for a success page to come up. You can see phone number fields in correct format, but uh, I can fix that later. Um, then we go publish it. So I'll name the zap up here. So, so this calls uh, Zebra. So I know which one it is. And we want to publish that zap. Publish the zap, turn it on. So now we go back here to customers. And we should see, hopefully, but if not, I'll just get rid of the phone number. Um, we should see that customer populated into our OneBot account. Uh, no, it didn't go in, but that's all right. I'll have a look at that and we'll fix that as well. But that's an easy fix. Uh, but yeah, I'll just go in and then delete that phone number. Okay, so now we're recording again. We go, we removed that phone number because there was a, a population error there, sorry. So we just want to do publish the zap. And we want to, uh, it's all good there. 